isang mapayapang hapon Pilipinas. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, si Lisa Makuha, na bumabati sa lahat ng nakikinig sa DZRH at nanonood sa RHTV. Lalo na sa mga kasamahan nating alagad ng sining at kultura sa buong bansa. Dito sa Art to Art, nakagawian na nating magpakilala ng mga bagong sibol na talento sa iba't ibang larangan ng sining bilang pagsuporta sa mga kabataan na buong tapang na sinusunod ang kanilang pangarap na maging professional artist. Kahit na maraming nagsasabing mahirap magtagumpay at maghanap ng hanap buhay bilang isang alagad ng sining. Sa hapong ito, makakasama natin ang isang second generation actress na maagang nagpakita ng husay sa pagganap sa kanyang unang pelikula pa lang. At dahil sa magagandang reviews mula sa mga local film critics, hindi natin maiwasang isipin na totoo nga talaga ang kasabihang the apple does not fall far from the tree. Kaya huwag kayong aalis, samahan ninyo kami sa kalahating oras ng masayang kwentuhan kasama ang bagong aktres na si Iana Bernardes. Dito lamang sa Art to Art. Magbabalik kami pagkatapos na ilang paalala. Isinilang sa Baguio City noong July 3, 1993, si Iana Celeste Bernardes ay ang panganay na anak ng premyadong aktres na si Angel Aquino. Nagtapos siya ng BS Psychology mula sa Ateneo de Manila University noong 2014 at unang nagtrabaho bilang events producer para sa isang advertising and production company. Dala na rin marahil ng maagang pagkakamulat sa industriya ng pelikula, sinubukan niyang pasukin ang mundo ng film production noong 2017 bilang associate producer ng Kiko Boxingero, isang independent film na nagwagi ng tatlong tropeo mula sa 2017 Cinemalaya Film Festival. Nasundan ito ng Mr. and Mrs. Cruz na nag-uwi ng karangalan mula sa Osaka Asian Film Festival at ang Cinemalaya entry para sa taong ito na Kuya Wes. Samantala, naging production manager din siya ng 2017 Cinema One Originals entry na si Cheding at si Apple at ang mga ongoing indie productions na Hospicio at Hintayan ng Langit. Di nagtagal, lumitaw din ang kanyang angking talento sa pag-arte at nabigyan siya ng pagkakataong lumabas bilang female lead sa pelikulang Gusto Kita with All My Hypothalamus na nagwagi ng apat na gantimpala mula sa 2018 Cine Filipino Film Festival kabilang na ang Second Best Picture, Best Ensemble, Best Production Design at Best Musical Score at kung saan naging nominado rin si Iana bilang Best Actress. Kilalanin natin dito sa Art to Art ang bagong aktres na gumagawa ng pangalan sa indie filmmaking circuit na si Iana Bernardes. Magandang hapon, Iana, and welcome to Art to Art. Thank you, thank you so much. Mr. Starstruck ako sa inyo. <laughs> Wait, first of all, belated happy birthday. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I understand a birthday mo nung July 3. Yes. Okay, so ano naman ang birthday wish mo? Uh, well, Continuous projects. Nag-enjoy po ako sa industry ngayon, and I just hope masundan yung role ko after Eileen, the previous role I had. Because when I did it, I had super fun, and I would love to do it again given the opportunity. Na may magandang script alat from and a good director. Okay, fantastic. Well, it's always nice to wish for you know continuous. Work actually, you know, in alam mo na sa sining usually it comes in spurts. Yes, it comes and goes. Audition mo na, tapos na audition na naman, tapos okay. So um, I'm sure, talagang if you had one peso for every time sabihin sa yon na kamo kamo ing nanay mo or um. Kamukha mo si Angel Aquino, makakabili ka na ng kotse. Or barko. Or barko. Which is flattering. At least, nababawasan yung pressure na magandang ganda-ganda ng nanay ko. Paano pantayin? 
Ayan. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. okay, so ano, ano naman ang sinasabi mo ngayon pag halimbawa sinasabi niya sa'yo na Uy, kamukhang kamukha mo yung nanay mo o kaya bakit kamukha mo si Angel Aquino? Uh, really, <laughs> ano pa rin, uh, thank you pa din mm-hmm. kasi well, di mo pagkakaila na maganda si mommy, everyone knows that she's she's a beautiful woman. So to be, ano, na, ma- masabihan na kamukha mo si Angel Aquino, especially if they don't know mm-hmm. na I'm her daughter. Yeah. It really sincerely flatters me kahit mm-hmm. Uh, may ilang beses na nangyayari. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, parang, whew! Pati <laughs> lang kamukha ko, nanay ko. Although, although okay lang din naman kasi uh-huh. gwapo din naman tatay ko. Uh-huh. <laughs> Kasabihin na lang kamukha ko, daddy ko. Uh-huh. Um, but of course, yun nga. Nag-thank you lang po ako and I don't necessarily, uh, hindi ko po naman sinasabi agad na, ah, nanay ko po kasi siya. Mm-hmm. It's more of, thank you, uh, swerte ko naman. Mm-hmm. Ganun mm-hmm. lang. Kasi pag mm-hmm. sinabi mo pang, Um, nanay ko po kasi sa... Ah, talaga? Oo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> From there, mas matangkad siya sa'yo. No? <laughs> <laughs> Oo oh, nga eh. <laughs> Yun naman ako sa tatay oh, ko. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, Iana, actually, madalas namin talagang tanungin sa mm. mga second and third generation na mga uh, bata no na sa ating programa. Um, is it hard na uh, to always be in the shadow of your parents. It, Lalo na kasi ang pinapasukan mo ay pagiging actress din, no? Um, so, you know, it's also in the same field. Yes. It's uh-huh. not necessarily hard, but of course, it's up to you to pressure yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, when people know you're the daughter of Angel Aquino or mm-hmm. the daughter of someone, they ex- they already set their expectations. Mm-hmm. So, of course, you hindi may iwasan na Oh my God, um, did I meet that expectation? Or of course, makakumpara ka. Mm-hmm. And there are differences between mm-hmm. you and your mother or you and your father. That, mm-hmm. um, dahil siguro artista sila, of course mm-hmm. may lamang sila. Of course, because they have that status and they're already established and people mm-hmm. already have that mindset that they're beautiful people. Mm-hmm. And um, eh ako, may, pag nakita nila ako, dugyot from... being a staff from being on set mm. si mainit of course hindi, hindi ka, uh, na haggard ka from mm-hmm. running around um, doing production mm-hmm. um, so pag nakita ka na ah kamukha mo nga pero syempre iisipin mo muna oh my god maayos ba itsura ko na kayong itsura ko ngayon uh-huh. <laughs> so yun um, there's that pressure but of course my mom always reminds me na and, She doesn't make it. She doesn't make me feel it. Also, because the pressure. Mm-hmm. Of course, she makes. She reminds me. Oh, dapat ano? Make yourself look presentable always. But but of, of course that goes without saying. Mm-hmm. But she does. She never pressures me. Na oh, um, you have to look. Hindi naman you have to look like me. But you know, she around her. Because she looks very around her. Kame. She looks very normal. Pag nasa bahay pang bahay lang. Mm-hmm. So. Hindi naman sa bumababa. Parang mm. I know we're leveled. <laughs> I know we're <laughs> na pag, na, pag nakapambahay siya, nakapambahay din ako or pag bagong gising, siya yung ah, okay, wait. Um pan, she's normal pala. Oh, oh. She, parang she's my mom. Oh, I'm oh. always reminded that she's my mom. Uh-huh. More than someone I ca- I should compare myself with. She's my mom mm-hmm. and she always lets me know na. She always tells me, you're so beautiful, you mm-hmm. and Thea, you're both beautiful, stop worrying. Mm-hmm. So, yun, um, it's really just the pressure you put on yourself. Mm-hmm. Um, you think people expect things from you, but in reality, it's just yourself. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. You, you can't help but feel um, compared. Uh, mm-hmm. but you can't help people from comparing, but Okay lang kasi you ha- you're your own. She mm-hmm. always reminds me that. Mm-hmm. You are okay. your own. Yes. And you are your own, yeah. Iana. So let's talk about Iana. Okay? Um, gaano ka kaagang nag-desisyon na nais mong pumasok dun sa larangan ng sine? Very late. I mean, it's very late. But I never had the intention of being an actor. Mm-hmm. Um, it was more... I want... Kasi af- in college, um, I took psychology. But... Always, I've enjoyed events, mm-hmm. so I've always mounted events in college and mm-hmm. the university. And then, so after that, I figured since I'm still having fun and I, you know, I like doing it, 
I entered events. I entered an events agency and I had re really had fun. Mm -hmm. Did it for three years. Mm -hmm. And then people would ask me, I want to artist. I said, like, eh, no. Because mm -hmm. ako. Bakit? Um, yun nga, to be exposed to people. Mm -hmm. and the, people critical of you kuna ko yung nakababad sa camera babantahin mm. babantayan nila pag acting mo people will watch you on screen parang siguro as a young girl i still had that parang ah nakakonscious mm -hmm. na everyone's watching you mm -hmm. and you don't want to look ugly mm -hmm. and you don't want to, feel, to 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 you know masabihan na ay um mas magaling nanay niya ay hindi pala siya mm -hmm. magaling ganun mm -hmm. um Ayun, isip ko, ayaw ko mag-artista na ako. But at the back of my head, I always, I always uh -huh. admired actors. Uh -huh. Especially really um, good actors who just drop everything and just let their guards down for the character. Mm. I think when I entered, what convinced me into entering acting or just grabbing the opportunity was that. Is I don't want anymore to be conscious. I want to be able to... Um, to parang let your guards down yeah, mm -hmm. and parang asosyana, just do mm -hmm. what you have to do. Don't it doesn't matter if people are watching you. Mm -hmm. Just think of mm -hmm. yourself and just um galingan mo yung kailangan mong gawin. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You you said na you took up psychology. Yes. Um you dutifully finished college mm -hmm. in Ateneo. Yes. Um so nung nag sa psychology ka, uh, uh, Sabi mo wala kang balak magartista. Yeah. So ano yung balak mo nun? <laughs> well, it was always a pre-med course. Uh -huh. So I considered okay. medicine. <laughs> I so figured ay kaya ko mag-aral ng ganto ka. Uh -oh, uh -oh. So you thought na magiging uh, doctor ka? I considered yes. Mm, considered, I really considered okay. being a doctor, especially that there wasn't a doctor in the family yet. Mm -hmm. And I was the panganay na apo. Okay. He said, ko, oh, well, it would be a good example for my cousins mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. be a doctor. Okay. Um, but also, if I wasn't going to be a doctor, I considered counseling mm -hmm. or research because I. Um, people have already have always been very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what made you decide na I gusto ko mag artista? I will go for this. Um, it was I, I, what I wanted to be was be part of producing films. Okay. So acting just really fell on my lap, uh, like a lucky opportunity. Because mm -hmm. when I got the role of Eileen, I actually honestly don't still consider myself as an actress. Because mm -hmm. I had one role, mm -hmm. um, and it really fell on my lap because I was part of the staff. Mm. And then. Um, I was talent coordinator. I called the auditionees that were shortlisted by my, my, my director, mm -hmm. invited them to the auditions, prepared what they had to read. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, peg kasi ng character si Angel Aquino, mm -hmm. Red Sazul, uh, Masa Morena, Tinay. So, mm -hmm. ko, um, pasok naman ako sa criteria ni Direk. Mm -hmm. So, nag-joke ako, Direk, ako na lang. <laughs> Kaya pa audition, pa try. Uh, 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 uh. So, nakalimutan kong sinabi ko yun. Uh, uh. And then eventually, yun nga, they would, they prodded me na, oh yeah na, hali ka na, mag-audition ka na. Tapos uh -huh. na lahat ng auditionees na, eh. uh -uh. ako na yung huli. Uh -uh. Huh? Kaya pakipot pa ako. But deep inside, hindi <laughs> kasi when I read the material, uh -huh. it's really true pala, what they say, na you just feel something for a, a material, mm -hmm. for a character. Uh -huh. Na, I guess that's what I hear my mom saying. I really want to do this role, or mm. I really want to do this film. Mm. Ayun, I think I felt that for the um, script um, by Dwayne, and that convinced me that I'll j just grab this opportunity. Doesn't matter if I get it mm -hmm. or not. At least I tried, and luckily mm -hmm. <laughs> they enjoyed the audition. Uh -huh. Even my co-actor, my co-actor Nico Manalo, was there at the audition. Uh -oh. Part of the screening process was a monologue and then a reading with Nico. Mm -hmm. And parang he was convinced naman. Sabi nila they were convinced by how raw. Because mm -hmm. I, I knew nothing. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I I guess that's what Dwayne was looking for also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now okay. you're so wide eyed. Don't know what mm -hmm. to do. Yeah. So you, you, based, yeah, you were in the right place at, at the, the right, right time. time. Yeah, yeah uh -oh. exactly. Uh -oh. Okay. So, um, uh, well, Growing up, I'm sure maraming in-instill sa'yo um, and your sister um, that now you find relevant, mm -hmm. like the personal or very important values that your parents and grandparents yeah. instilled in you. 
and what what are these values and what and how do you find them especially now that you're in you've just entered showbiz um it was from my lola palang humility mm -hmm. um i can say that because i'm able to talk because i don't feel like i'm way I'm up there in any way, pos in any way. Um, when I interact with the crew, it really helps me as a staff, mm -hmm. more than an actor also. As part of the production management staff, I'm able to communicate well with my crew. Mm -hmm. Feeling ko, love nila ako. Pag mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, andyan na si Miss Yana, andyan na si Miss Yana. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yung, um, I, I, I don't know if I ha may charm din ako sa kanila or nadadaan ko sila sa charm, pero... Yeah, and I'm just really nice to the crew, and because of that, they're nice to me. Uh -huh. I get to ask favors from them. Na, yeah. Kuya, pang pang chairs, or kuya, pa blower naman don. Uh -uh. um, also, just to, sp just to be kind. Uh -uh. My mom always reminds us to be kind mm -hmm. um, towards anyone, mm -hmm. but I have to admit, she's much kinder than me. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you say that? Because. <laughs> She's just really kind. <laughs> She's more patient. Because uh -huh. um, when I was a producer for events, I learned the man from my boss how to be strict also. Uh -oh. Of course, assertive. Assertive. Uh -oh. um, so yun, I think that's what I picked up from work also. Mm. Um, but my mom, kasi, talagang she's really mellow. Mm. The assertiveness talaga I learned outside of the family. Mm. Mm -hmm. And I, which I'm glad also. Kasi mm -hmm. Um, it it helps me as a producer or a mm -hmm. production manager also, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but kindness really goes a long way. Mm -hmm. that's what my mom taught us, what my lola taught us. Para ka si Cinderella, di ba? Be kind. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> my mom also. Uh -oh. Okay. When, when, when we watched the film, like uh -huh. tinan kami uh -huh. sa line Be Cinderella. <laughs> Marami pa po tayong pag-uusapan kasama ang bagong sumisibol na aktres na si Yana Bernardes. Dito pa rin sa Art to Art. Magbabalik po kami pagkatapos ng ilang paalala. Programang hatid ay sining at kulturang para sa lahat. Magbabalik ang Art to Art. Schedule ng mga inaabangang konsyerto. Update sa mga magagandang panoorin sa mga tanghala at teatro. Narito na ang Art to Art Calendar. Narito ang ating Arts Calendar. Sa panitikan, ipagdiriwang ang 35th National Children's Book Day sa July 17 sa The Main Theater Lobby ng Cultural Center of the Philippines mula alas 9 ng umaga hanggang alas 5 ng hapon. May tema itong Sa Aklat, May Laya. Magkakaroon ng awarding ceremonies para sa 2018 Philippine Board on Books for Young People or PBBY Salanga Prize, 2018 PBBY Alcala Prize, 2018 PBBY Worldless Book Prize at ng 2018 National Children's Book Awards. Magbubukas din ng PBBY sa Aklat May Laya Exhibit na makikita hanggang July 22. Sa hapon, meron ding mga storytelling sessions libre at bukas sa publiko ang mga ito. Para sa pre-registration at karagdagang detalye, tumawag 551-5959 o mag-email ccpintertextualdivision at gmail.com. Sa musika, itatanghal ng Philippine Opera Company ang Harana bilang pagdiriwang ng ikasampung anibersaryo ng produksyong ito. Mapapanood ang serye ng palabas sa July 27, alas 8 ng gabi, July 28, alas 3 ng hapon at alas 8 ng gabi, at sa July 29, alas 3 ng hapon, Carlos P. Romulo Auditorium ng RCBC Plaza sa Ayala Avenue, Corner Hill, Puyat Avenue, Makati City. Naitanghal na ang harana sa Pilipinas at sa ibang bansa at tumanggap ng iba't ibang papuri para sa pagsulong nito ng imahe ng Pilipinas at sa pagtampok nito ng natatanging musika at kultura ng ating bansa. Para sa tiket, tumawag sa Ticket World 891-9999.
Samantala, tampok naman ng soprano na si Jasmine Salvo sa kanyang unang solo concert sa July 26, alas 6.30 ng gabi, Ayala Museum, Makati Avenue Corner, De La Rosa Street, Makati City. Si Salvo ay isa sa mga nagwagi sa Jovita Fuentes Vocal Competition. Aawitin niya ang mga obra nila Purcell, Handel, Obrador, Puccini, Johan Strauss at Bellini. Kasama si Najib Ismail bilang pianista. Para sa ticket, tumawag sa Ticket World 891-9999 o sa Cultural Arts Events Organizer 782-7164. Usapang sining at kultura para sa lahat Kasama ang balirina ng bayan si Lisa Makuha Art to Art Kasama pa rin natin ang 2018 Sine Filipino Best Actress nominee na si Yana Bernard Okay, let's talk about your first movie okay. <laughs> um, as an actress. It was in the 2018 Cine Filipino Festival entry entitled Gusto Kita with All My Hypothalamus. Yes. Okay. Pwede mo bang i-explain sa atin yung titulo na yun? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ano na yun, Dwayne? Okay. Um, eh, ang dami pinagdaanan actually nung title daw. But mm -hmm. basically, gusto kita with all my hypothalamus is... Um, kasi daw, hindi naman galing sa heart mm -hmm. ang feelings of love or that, that, that fuzzy feeling you get pag kinikilig ka. It's really from the hypothalamus, which is um, in your brain, it releases hormones, oxytocin, yun ganyan. So, it um, basically is... Um, they, uh, triggers your bodily function. Mm -hmm. So you, if you're hungry, sleepy, uh, no, I'm not sure about sleepy, mm -hmm. but yeah, when you feel that um, jittery feeling when mm -hmm. you see your crush. Mm -hmm. And the film is, is about four men who have the same object of, the, of desire, see mm -hmm. Eileen. Mm -hmm. See Eileen, um, you don't really know if she's real. Mm -hmm. She's enigmatic. Um, and she's the only common denominator among the four. Mm -hmm. Yung four men, hindi nag magka cross paths ever. So mm -hmm. It's just Eileen. And lahat sila, they have that obsession, mm -hmm. their own kind of obsession over Eileen. Mm -hmm. um, si, yung magnanakaw, si Obeng, mm -hmm. obsessed siya in a way na parang, I think, because he's a loner, as a, na, na, ayaw sa kanya ng community, syempre kasi magnanakaw siya. Mm. And you don't know if he's mute, mm -hmm. but the whole film, he doesn't talk. Ang galing ni Anthony dun. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, he obsesses over Eileen in a sense na you're alone, I'm alone, we should be together. Mm -hmm. Ganyan. Mm -hmm. Nico Manalo naman sees Eileen as someone you bring home to your family, as mm -hmm. a wife. Mm -hmm. um, as someone he will build his life with. Mm -hmm. Si Alex as a best ideal girlfriend na mm -hmm. pwede mong barkada. Mm -hmm. And lastly, si Lando, well, because 12 years na siyang biudo, he just misses that company. Of course, sexual interaction with mm. a woman. Mm -hmm. um, yun, so iba-ibang emotions towards that object, Eileen. Mm -hmm. uh, I, th not necessarily connected to the title, but yeah, meron pa kaming title na kahit man lamang kung maaari. Mm -hmm. So, hindi, hindi rin ganun ka-connect. But again, it's a vague title, but mm -hmm. it's also a vague film mm -hmm. at a lot of interpretations. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, how did it feel to be nominated na kaagad for Best Actress and first movie mo pa lang? Hmm. <laughs> Humbling. <laughs> Surprised, more uh -huh. than anything. Because when I watched it, kasi parang ako... And then, when I watched it, and of course, after reading... Kasi... Um, Nag premiere siya Monday, I think. Um, mm -hmm. I was only able to see it on Friday during the gala. Mm -hmm. And then the awarding was on Saturday already. Mm -hmm. So I'd, I've read reviews even before I've seen the film. Mm -hmm. So when I watched it, I was expecting something mm -hmm. from myself. Mm -hmm. and, sab and then when I turned to Nico after the film, I ko, Nico, hindi na ako art, hindi ako marunong. <laughs> <laughs> then, so, ano sabi ng mga taong magaling? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Kasi, Parang nakita mo lahat ng flaws, no? Oh. Yeah, I, parang, oh. ako lang yun eh. When people, mm. 
pag nakita, pag gilala ka ng tao, sasabihin lang nila, eh, siya na lang yun. Especially mm-hmm. for my role with Miko. Mm-hmm. Kasi um, Eileen, we're four, she was four different characters mm-hmm. um, um, that goes across, yun nga, the four men. Mm-hmm. Um, they would know, I would be flattered when they say they noticed the differences between the, the four Eileens, mm-hmm. like Eileen ni Obeng, ganyan. Mm-hmm. Iba yung Eileen ni Lando, mas malande. Mm-hmm. No, no, I feel flattered kasi I really, I tried. Mm-hmm to insert those nuances. Mm-hmm. But of course, the difficulty ko was um, how effective was I? Because my, my co-actors, they were mm. good theater actors and mm. movie actors. So parang ako, so they had these, the new techniques, mm-hmm. they, they had their processes, and I felt, oh my God, um, tama ba tong ginagawa ko? What, what should my process be? Because mm-hmm. I was still discovering that also. Yeah. Uh-huh. And Nico, mm-hmm. nagbubuo kasi siya ng character. Parang, ha? Paano ko bubuoin si Eileen? I didn't mm-hmm. know how to do that. And it was difficult for Eileen because she wasn't really a pers- a buong character mm-hmm. in the story to begin with. Mm-hmm. So, and I realized that only eventually, na, ah, hindi ko pala kailan buuin si Eileen. So my process was, they, I, Eileen was a projection of these men. So I would respond to, their, or to them. Mm-hmm. I would act the way they expect me to act. So mm-hmm. I was feeding off them more mm-hmm. than anything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yo. Okay. To be nominated was huh, yeah. flattering. <laughs> so binigyan ka ba ng acting tips ng ng yung nana? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, um, ano yon? An- anong pinayon niya sa She reminded me not to y- yung usual na wag sing song, uh-huh. especially with my lines with Nico. Siya kasi yung pinakamaraming lines. And I Nahirapan kasi ako, may character si Eileen doon na madalas sa Ukayan, mm-hmm. taga um, Quiapo, mm-hmm. and alam, um, meron silang Tagalog na hindi, din, hindi, ko, hindi ako sanay mm-hmm. sa ganong um, punto ng Tagalog. Mm-hmm. Yung ano, um, basta, nahirapan ako. <laughs> Ayaw din naman ng director ko yung baklang mag bakla magsalita uh-huh. eh yun yung natutunan ko sa production uh-huh. Uh-huh. okay <laughs> <laughs> yung yung medyo pa kanto medyo pa street hindi ko hindi ko ma-achieve uh-huh. doon na ako nahirapan so paulit-ulit ko yung trinay tapos mm-hmm. um, sabi din niya wag ka ko mag reread ng mag-reread ng script kasi i will get tired of the material mm-hmm. just read it before the sequence before you take the sequence para at least medyo fresh pa yung fresh pa yung yung take with the material um yun. and her tip was just ah don't be conscious about the cameras mm-hmm. or about anyone watching kasi once na conscious ka makikita agad yun ng cameras and that's what i was really trying to do mm-hmm. when i went on set it was just a set and my co-actor mm-hmm. and whatever lines i had to deliver mm-hmm. which I, I think helped me talaga. Mm-hmm. And it was also what I wanted to achieve anyway from mm-hmm. the start because I, w- I felt na ako conscious nga ako. Mm-hmm. I would just try to remember that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So if you were ever offered to appear in a film with Angel Aquino, tatanggapin mo ba? Of course. Okay. <laughs> I would love to work <laughs> But but have you ever mo. worked with your mom in any project? No, no not, not even pa. not even uh-huh. I was staff. Mm, okay. extra, so it would be a first. Yes, Uh-oh. I would love okay. to work with my mom. <laughs> although I wouldn't know how that would play out, because uh-huh. I will see her as my mom. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. And I don't know what role would be given to both of us. Mm-hmm. Will we be mother, daughter, mm-hmm. sisters? I don't mm-hmm. know. Because it's hard to be on screen with her without being related. Mm. Totoo. Because we look <laughs> oh, nga so naman. much alike now. Oh, oh, oh. So, um, what kind of roles do you look forward to? Um, hmm. <laughs> I, I'm looking... Ay, may mga dream roles ka ba? My dream role would be... Um, well, I'm honestly scared of crying roles. But, uh-huh. <laughs> but I would... I know, um, Dream. Well, I naman po akong dream roles, but I am dreaming of really good materials. Mm-hmm. Um, like I haven't watched Sid and Aya, but when I saw the trailer, I figured, parang it's nice to play a role like yun nga, how Anne played Aya. Mm-hmm. I heard it's a good film. Mm-hmm. Um, I I love the material. This gusto kita with all my hypothalamus. I think what I'm looking for are stories that or are roles that because I'm not good with comedy. 
Mm-hmm. So hindi ka dream maging magkaroon ng comedy role. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. But the but roles that are quiet, um, the stories that are quiet, mm. um, I think yeah, that's what I'm looking forward mm-hmm. to. I'm, but mm-hmm. I'm also looking forward to a horror role. Okay. Kasi nakaka, diba, nakaka-conscious yung sumisigaw ka. Uh-oh. Sumisigaw ko, kaya ko gaya gawin yun. Uh-huh. Or roles that would challenge me, ah, ito, roles that would challenge me to transform physically. Uh-huh. Okay. Like to either get really thin uh-huh. or change my hair. Uh-huh. I think that's what I'm looking for. And at least that's how I can gauge how dedicated I am as a professional parang, actor. Parang roles that are farthest from who you are. Yeah, because the tip ni Miss Dolly, the Leon or Miss Dolly Gutierrez, she was um, the acting coach in one of our films, Mr. Mm-hmm. and Mrs. Cruz. Mm-hmm. And she told me, you can only play yourself once. Mm-hmm. After that, don't play it again. So, mm-hmm. And I think I've done that with Eileen. Mm-hmm. So, um, I'm looking forward to roles that are different from me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And how are you preparing for this? Um, well, uh, hmm. Mag- uh, sumasali ka ba sa acting workshop? Are you reading scripts? Yet. Are you are you digging deep into self reflection? Um, I mean, how are you preparing for every? Uh, na isip mo ba na tuloy tuloy ka na magiging actress ka? I'm hoping, ac- uh-huh. honestly. Okay. okay. I'm yeah. hoping to mm-hmm. have to have more roles mm-hmm. to be um, an actress pa. But you know, and every I've never I haven't had the time or the chance to do acting workshops. Pero may torn din ako kasi people say we can we mag acting workshop. Mm. Um, Bakit? I think kasi because I'm a new actor, they're banking on the rawness. Mm. But what my fear is like when I go to an audition and kahilera ko yung mga marurunong, mm-hmm. and I'm there. I'm only able to offer them the rawness and mm-hmm. just Diana. Mm-hmm. So, uh, yes, I want to learn more and research more about how to act. Pa. Mm-hmm. See, mommy, because she didn't really do acting workshops. Mm-hmm. Um, as in, really enrolled or studied it. Mm-hmm. She did acting workshops for whenever there's a soap and it requires it. Mm. Um, so, so yan, isip ko rin, what if ganun din yung atake ko? Mm-hmm. Na whatever yung basa ko sa script or whatever direction ko from the director, that's mm-hmm. gonna be my workshop for myself. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, but with every script I read ng for when I have to work on a film and I have to do the budget, of course, I read the script. I read the roles, I read the lines out loud. And, if, and then if there's a role I identify with, I try to... Um, read more on that character. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, ayun, acting workshops, not yet. Mm-hmm. Hopefully, I get the chance to work with another good director that will, yun, kasi I realized I learned from the people I work with. Mm-hmm. I learned from my co-actors on mm-hmm. set and mm-hmm. I re- learned a lot from my directors. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. whatever cue they give, mm-hmm. um, I really listen to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. And well, what about your Free time. Do you have free time? <laughs> and uh, what do you, what do you engage in? What are your other interests outside of acting? We just finished um, Juan Day. Mm-hmm. It's a yearly event. It's a yearly outreach that we do with my family and friends, family friends, um, where we go. Usually, we mm-hmm. usually go up north and mm-hmm. give we visit far flung schools. Mm-hmm. Um, we give them school supplies mm-hmm. and slippers. Mm-hmm. Because we noticed they've all they walk distances just mm-hmm. to get to school, mm-hmm. and some don't go to school because they don't have the tools. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very, to be honest, it's a short-lived um, thing for the students. Mm-hmm. But what we want to leave behind with them, of course, because of course, no ubus ang papel, no ubus ang pencil, mm-hmm. tapos yung bag. Akala nila um, we just go there to give, mm-hmm. but really, what we want to leave behind is. Uh, education is important. Um, that we want that them value. to continue. Oh, yeah. Oh. Um, but other than that, of course, it's the going out in the mount to the mountains, going up to the mountains, that excites us every year. Mm-hmm. I honestly don't go to go, don't get to go every year because of school before and mm-hmm. now work. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, whenever we get to go, it's really the, we're looking forward to the mountains, mm-hmm. sleeping in tents, sleeping mm-hmm. in schools, na papag, mm-hmm. the food and interactions with them. Because uh, I love traveling. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you can't make me choose between mm-hmm. the beach and the mountain because I can't mm-hmm. choose. Um, 
I it's love good that in our country we have we both. Have both. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, in other interests, I love reading. And when uh, I don't have sports, uh -huh. honestly, but I love horseback riding because we used to. I used to go back and forth in Baguio because my dad lives lives there. Mm -hmm. So whenever I was there, in the usual horseback riding, I'm mm -hmm. not an equestrian. Mm -hmm. I tried, mm -hmm. but it's sakit sa likod pala. <laughs> and it's an expensive sport. Uh -oh. Yes, it is. <laughs> and then um, Muay Thai in college, uh -huh. I trained. Uh -huh. um, I didn't want to go back to, into doing it, but also because I realized if magaka action role, yes. at least, diba? Oh, ako, ah, marunong oh, oh. ako sumipa. Uh, <laughs> marunong ako oh, sumipa. Oh, naman. So, when talk, okay. so yun na naisip ko, uh -huh. of course. Uh -huh. um, yun. But really, it, I love watching, ever since, I love I loved watching movies and theater in the movie house with my mom. Mm. And yun yung pastime namin. Mm -mm. Okay. So, what's next for Yana? Uh, what projects are you involved in right now? Um, right now, um, Acting, none, but I, I've, audition, I've auditioned for films. Mm -hmm. um, so, yun, I'm just waiting for other auditions mm -hmm. and maybe get a good role for mm -hmm. a good film. But mm -hmm. right now, I'm handling uh, movies as a, a line producer mm -hmm. or an associate producer. Mm -hmm. I have one for Cinemalaya mm -hmm. coming out in August. Mm -hmm. I have one for that will be released online, mm -hmm. hopefully. Um, it's a horror film. Mm -hmm. So, at least when I f my act. My actress is Ana Luna and mm -hmm. Miss Glidel Mercado. So, mm -hmm. nanono ada ko on set. Uh -huh. Actually, saya den, kasi uh -huh. I get to get tips from my actors yes. when I watch them. Uh -huh. Ah, ganun pala yung proseso niya. Uh -huh. Ganyan. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, but also, uh, and then I have a Q Cinema and Cinema One original. So, it's mm -hmm. horror also. Okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, but all, everything as staff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm, yeah, I'm learning a lot from being a staff. I'm learning a lot from being um, from being surrounded by actors also. Mm -hmm. But again, looking forward to getting more good roles. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. my mom reminded me to choose roles, not just take mm -hmm. roles. Which, uh, yeah, I agree. Yeah. And we are looking forward to Thank seeing you, so you more much. and more in front of the camera. And hopefully. Okay. Uh, maraming maraming salamat, Yana, for Thank spending you so your much Sunday afternoon here with us in Art to Art. Thank and you so much. We are really looking forward to the rest of your career, the rest of your life. Yeah. <laughs> Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, samahan ninyo kami ulit dito sa Art to Art kung saan ang usapang sining at kultura ay para sa lahat. Ito po ang inyong balerina ng bayan, Lisa Makuha, nagpupugay sa artistang Pilipinas.